completely see what you mean, even if it's not going over his head and he's almost fumbling it, it can really play uh, with the timing of these. As Mitch hands this it off better. yet again. But good job by the defense. That was a little better. They, they, they got the, I think, ball out. The timing was perfect for him there, but yeah, good job by the Jamestown defense. They're they're starting to really move to the ball now. I think I think Jamestown's starting to recognize some things that they may have seen in the first few series that when they first came out, maybe they didn't recognize. That was Davis with the carry. Do you think it's dangerous for Frontier to think about all those drives that they had earlier on, all the times they weren't able to take advantage, and now all of a sudden they're down? Yeah, you know, I, I think it is, but here's the thing, Sloan. I think they're feeling good about themselves. You know, here they are in a tussle with the state champions. Uh, they haven't played well this year, and there's 6 4 left in the first quarter. They're down one score. Second first half, excuse me. Third down and seven at the 41 yard line. Kamich in the shotgun against this Jamestown defense, which could be getting some momentum. They make the handoff, a couple of steps, and a throw, and it's caught. Very good pick up there. It'll get the first down. That's Justin Smith, who continues to come up big in uh, bigger pass plays for the Frontier offense. I'll tell you, Kamich has done a nice job of hanging in the pocket and finding his receiver. His accuracy has been very good tonight. It's something we talked about in the open. They had to be better at. Watch this. Very nice job to put it right down low where he can, his receiver can go down and get it. Just corral it. You're not. You're, it's a nice conservative pass, but not an easy pass either. Nice tight spiral. He's also had the time in the pocket. Maybe he's had to move around a little bit, but really nothing too uh, uh, haphazard by this frontier offensive line. First down and 10 at the Jamestown 25-yard line. Kamich takes the snap. He's looking deep to the end zone. It's Smith again. Will he catch it? He pulls it in. Touchdown, Frontier. And they tie the game here with 5.07 remaining in the second quarter. They respond perfectly after allowing the first score of the game. You said it earlier that Frontier talked in the production meeting about the fact that they have talent. This was a talented play by a quarterback and a wide receiver hooking up for a touchdown. A very, very nice throw. Put it on the money. And how about that catch? Going up to get it, Justin Smith, the 6'1", 175-pound senior, does an excellent job turning around and grabbing that ball, snagging it out of the air. It was like that time he said, I'm not going to miss another ball in the end zone at the PA. He is good, and that gives them a lead 7-6, to six, and the crowd that's braving the very cold elements here is on their feet and excited for Frontier, taking the lead against the defending AA state champions. Absolutely. Frontier should feel really good about themselves, and especially after that catch. That young man should feel excellent about himself. How about this catch? That is a just oh, terrific catch. how he arched his back Absolutely. in order to make it. Yeah. I mean, this is an athletic play that you do not see very often from high school athletes. A very, very nice job there. And here's the quarterback's reaction. Let's watch. Absolutely. Give him the fist pump, baby. Like Tiger hitting a 25-footer. Very nice for Frontier. And Zach Kuminch, they go up 7-6, to 5.07 remaining before the half. And I think you're right, Sal. I think these teams might be starting to figure each other out. And maybe from this point on, we'll see a little bit more productive football. Less of the turnovers, maybe less punting as well. But back-to-back, -back really exciting scores here. Yeah, and on the sidelines, they're still celebrating over there. Zach Kamich getting congratulations from his teammates on the sideline. they got to feel real good about themselves right here, the way they've played the first half. Here's the kickoff. will be taken by Kinsey, it looks like. He'll go out of bounds. Or rather, excuse me, that's number nine, Aaron Watson. So not much of a return there, and not really great field position either. So that's also going to help the Frontier defense. Well, you know what's going to help Jamestown, though, is that 90-yard pass now will loosen up the defense. So because that happened, Jamestown knows they can't just push 10 guys into the box automatically. They're going to have to watch out for that deep pass, and that may open up the running game a little bit. So... Yes, the, the, the touchdown. The play action as well Absolutely. if they're able to do that. The touchdown helps on the scoreboard, no doubt, but it also is going to help their offense flow a little bit better from here on out. I think for Frontier, and correct me if you disagree, it was kind of like, all right, you got a 90-yard touchdown pass. We're going to respect that arm right now, and that may change how they uh, play defense here. No doubt. In fact, you can already see the linebackers uh, are already respecting that on the outside. First and 10 at the 27. This is Jackson, but he is swarmed and pushed back and finishing that play very strong with Simon Cuse. Cuse, the 5'10", 175-pound senior. Does a nice job to come up from his linebacker spot. That's going to go for no gains. It'll be second and 10. 
wrap it up right there. Oh, yeah. And a little following through on the play, too. Absolutely. They're at their own 27-yard line. Jamestown trying to respond, possibly make it three scores in a row for both of these teams. And the shotgun is Hunzinger. He'll take the snap, drop back a couple of steps. He's looking. One sideline finds the other going deep again, and he's overthrown. No flags on the field, so just an incomplete pass there. Good no call. That ball couldn't have been caught. It was about 10 yards thrown over both of them. They got their feet tangled. That was really good coverage. How about Hunzinger's arm, though? I think he threw that ball. Let me check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. He threw that ball about 45 to 50 yards in the air under pressure. What an arm this kid has. Yeah, Daryl, we get it that you uh, have a good arm here. Woo. With number 77, the big man, Connor Kraft, breathing down his neck. He was looking for a flag there, you can see, but obviously can't complain too much. It'll be third down and 10 at still their own 27-yard line after that incompletion. But boy, we know that Hunzinger has an arm. He'll take the snap here, throw it over the middle of the field, trying to escape a couple of defenders. Number 22, Andrew Pumford. First time we've seen him today. Well, Jackson Brown may have just saved the series there. That was a really, really nice defensive play. He came up. He made the tackle after the uh, receiver broke one tackle, and that brings up a fourth down. That was a, a really big play that he made right there. If he doesn't make that tackle, that's a first down, and these chains are still moving. And that time he completed it at the point of contact that for excuse me, forces Jamestown to punt. They are trailing 7-6 to six here at Frontier. Hunt is cleanly off and goes out of bounds at about the maybe 33, 34-yard line. Yeah, nice directional punt there. Don't give uh, Frontier a chance to return because they're, so far their return game has been very, very good. He's also the punter. He has to fill in as well uh, there, and that was a really nice punt. But we, we always... We always talk about, you know, the, uh, the the main roles that guys play when they step in. Sometimes they have, you know, other roles where they have to step in as well, whether it be a punter, maybe a holder. You know, if there's a quarterback out, he's got a hold or something like that. Those little things matter a lot. And these are such specialized positions yes. that if you're not used to practicing them all the time, especially in game situations, those can end up being costly mistakes. But special teams for Jamestown doing a pretty good job today under the circumstances. Frontier will have it at their own 33-yard line. Commit 